This video is going to cover the sequence of events we need to follow, should we get any sort of broken bits of filament in the Bowden tube, or any strands, anything like that that can cause us some extrusion issues. Let's have a deep dive into how we have a look at that. So as you can see, we've got material that's stuck in here. So what we need to do is take the tube away, and then we can have a look at how we're going to clean that out. So first thing we want to do is make sure we remove these clips, because what we don't want to do is cause any damage to the cables inside there. So just undoing those, just pop one side off, pop the other side off, and do that for all five clips that are on there. Like so. So now we've got these two completely separate. So now the cable's removed, we need to remove the tube. So what we do is this little collet clip here, this will just ping away. So we'll just pull that to one side and place it down. Then this collar here, as we push down on the collar, we can pull up on the tube, and that will then take that out of there completely. So what we now need to do is do the same with the print head side. Now, we wanna be very careful with these because these tend to go with a bit of a spring. Sometimes these collets can disappear down here. So we wanna try and turn that so it's facing the front of the machine. And also then as we pull that away, just make sure we keep that nice and controlled. We can just place that on the back of the head there. And exactly the same, push down on the collar and then pull the tube up. So we have, we can see they've got a little bit of material sticking out here where we've had the breakage. So the first thing we wanna do is try and pull that and see how far the breakage goes. What's happened is that's come away we still have material stuck in there. So what we're gonna do is take a length of material from a spool that we know is okay, and then we're just gonna feed that through the tube manually, and we're gonna push that all the way through so that we can pull out the excess material that's been blocked inside there, like so. That will come out, and then we can remove the silver material that we just pushed back through. And what that's now done is cleaned out the entire tube for us. So as you can see with the end of the tubes here, there's two different ends. One's completely flat, which goes to the print head, and this one with a little internal chamfer goes to the rear of the machine that goes into the feeder. So when we reassemble, just make sure that we go that way around. So what we're now gonna do is reinsert this end in so we can just push from the top here. And the second one, we'll push that in from the top of the print head. Now I wanna make sure that that goes in all of the way and obviously make sure that we can't pull that back out as well. Once we're happy, we're gonna put these little clamp clips on now these are really important, so if you do end up losing these, we can download the file and you can reprint them, but it's always good to have one or two spares because if you do lose it, it's really difficult to get them back. And the last stage is we wanna make sure that we clip these back into position as well. And also just making sure that they're nice and evenly spread out across the tube. So if you ever get any material stuck in your Bowden tube, that's a sequence of events that you wanna be following just to make sure that it doesn't come into an absolute catastrophe, it's a nice, easy solution for you.